just go ahead and jump straight into it. You guys know the deal. I get home, record these videos immediately. Sorry, I'm just setting up a couple of things. I should do that before the video, but hey, I literally just got in. I got my my notepad with pen ready. I gotta go ahead and write down Ronan's name. So, um, continuing on the custom car review streak. How are you guys doing, by the way? We're gonna be talking about a crossover celebration. I see Mega Man right over there. Yeah, I see Mega Man, AKA X. So, uh, and it's sent by Ronin. So, uh, <laughs> go ahead and send me custom cars to bhdevcustomcars.gmail.com. Uh, it's going to be like literally right on top of like me. You guys going to see it's at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and send me custom cars to my uh, custom card email. That way I can get to your custom card in the future. Uh, as well as me getting all of these older custom cars out of the way. Like this one's from December 20th of 2023. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, we're just making good progress and getting all these older custom cards out the way so i can get to the newer custom cards i'm pretty ecstatic that we're gonna make it to 2024 for custom cards i'm man I, like i said in other videos i'm proud of myself so with that being said let's see what ronan has to say inside of the email so uh ronan says hey dev it's been a long time since i sent you my custom cards so i have a couple for you now more specifically a Mega Man x celebration now I'm not gonna lie, I've never been, I've never been like the biggest Mega Man fan. I will admit he looks cool. I will say that. Like, you guys got me there. He does look pretty cool, personally. I think he looks dope. But I've never been the biggest Mega Man guy, personally. I just, I don't know. I know I said like three times, but I'm just not the biggest Mega Man guy. <laughs> Four times now, I think. Hope you like my cards and their new mechanics. As always, I hope you're having a good time. I'm always having a good time reading you guys' custom cards. I am not uninterested, even though sometimes I do be a little bit tired. Doesn't mean I'm not interested in your cards. It's just because I'm tired from the day. I wake up early as hell, and man, it's, I have I be having some days. Uh, and a shout out from Brazil. We got people sending us custom cards from Brazil. What? see the supporters are everywhere don't i have like a i remember i think it was someone from like what is it the uh was it the french community i think it was like the like the french side of dokkan or somewhere somewhere in like europe what what was it i think it was like the french community someone sent me cards and said i believe they said something about love from like somewhere in europe i don't remember i vaguely remember that we have supporters yo Shout out to you, Ronan. Uh, with that being said, let's see what his leader skill is looking like. Uh, so, wait, we got to read what is, uh, the top of the card looks like. Uh, so, Dokkan Fest, Super AGL, X, the first Reploid? I hope I didn't say that wrong. Um, that sounds weird coming from me. Uh, and, of course, it's, I mean, X. All right, so his leader skill is Warriors of Peace. Or crossover three key and one 70 percent across the board so he's introducing a new category i haven't been seeing in any of these like custom car videos i've noticed that not many of the custom cars i've been reading have been given us a new category because i remember like way in the past that people were creating categories and putting what units would be on the said category so warriors of peace or crossover three key and one 70 percent across the board and an additional 30% of stats to Legendary Existence or Connected Hope. Now, I'm not going to pull up the 200% of the scope for this one. I'm just going to completely just keep reading as is. Uh, but Warriors of Peace. Trunks would be on there? So, Warriors of Peace would be like... Would it be like... Saviors? I feel like it'd be like Saviors. Because wouldn't Saviors and Warriors of Peace be like like similar and in another category i was thinking of that similar that would be similar to warriors of peace would be like i i man i don't know uh yeah just saviors no nah, just saviors because warriors of peace i mean because you know saviors they be coming to save the day i like <laughs> anyways uh so super attack uh x buster shot 30% attack and defense one turn and does immense damage to enemies. So he has a nice, standard, solid super attack effect of just 30% attack and defense one turn. So it's passive. Uh, the first robot who possesses free will, sentience? Oh my god, my English is all over the place. And independent thought, that's the name of the passive. That's the entire name of the passive, by the way. Um, you guys can see that. 
Okay, so he activates the interest animation once only, of course, and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, AGL excluded, to AGL for five turns from starter turn when there are six or more super class allies on the team at the start of characters attacking turns. So for the first five turns, provided you have six, I mean, yeah, six or more super class allies on the team. So you just want to, if you just run a full super class team, you're going to get this active. So if you run a full super class team, you get uh, AGL orb changing for five turns nice so he starts out with 110 percent attack and defense and 10 percent damage reduction at the start of turn plus an additional 50 percent attack and defense when performing a super attack which is obviously nice because he's getting 30 percent attack and defense in his regular super attack effect and 50 percent attack and defense inside of his passive so that is good and plus additional 110 percent attack and defense and an additional 10 percent damage reduction with three or more agl keys are obtained so i can go up to 20 percent on top is already 10 percent Okay, as well as that additional 110% attack and defense, that is something to note. And he also gets an additional 110% attack and defense and guards with five or more key spheres obtained. And he's also key for key sphere obtained for AGL key spheres. Excuse me. And he gives uh he gives super class allies 40% attack and defense. So of course he is a support type unit. He's giving 40% attack and defense to super class allies, which is obviously nice. Not giving key, but Hey, support's better than no support. He also maxes out on his passive when he gets the five more keys he's obtained, as well as the, of course, the six or more super class allies on the team. So you just run a full super class allies team. He's going to be supporting them while, of course, creating AGL key source for himself so he can directly support himself in getting that guard. And what's that? That's up to a 220% attack and defense in total with 20% damage reduction and guard. So this guy's looking like a slot two unit. Yeah, because there's no way he's going to be able to send slot one if like a boss supers him immediately with just guard and 20% damage reduction. No way, right? Absolutely not. Unless the boss is not attacking the first part of the first slot, then yeah, this guy can take some heavy damage, you know? I do like that he's supporting. Uh, the key per key to obtain for, you know, a key per AGL key to obtain. Um... Does this link set suck? Okay, let me read his activation condition for his um his active skill. Upgrades armor. Ooh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Uh, so an activation condition can be activated starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only, of course. So he he activates his active skill on fifth turn. And the active skill is just upgrades armor. So his link set is Brainiac's Courage, Prepare for Battle, In Fighter, Patrol, the first awakening in Fierce Battle. See, his link set is not that great. The combination of links is not that great, but it does make sense for X. Patrol. Hmm. Do you think that X could be on... Would you guys consider this a special pose? Okay. Hey. Okay. I I don't know. To him doing that little firing attack? Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, just go off on a quick little tangent for a second so have you guys seen uh mega man's uh, final smash inside smash 4 or inside smash ultimate where they all come together and you know they like beep, beep, just you know what it, it's better if i uh <laughs> better no 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 we're not gonna do that <laughs> i don't want the tangent to be too long but if you guys have seen the uh final smash inside of uh smash 4 and smash ultimate low key could that be a special post I, I don't know i mean they're just doing an attack probably not probably not don't mind me <laughs> anyways yeah link set's not really the craziest and this guy is looking like a slot two unit for sure uh so of course he's all his categories and i like that ronin put this is uh, just nothing at all inside the character then there's 55 percent, and then there's rainbowed yeah fourteen thousand attack uh eleven thousand defense interesting <clears throat> all right let's see what uh x is uh oh my god my throat's a little dry i see let's see what uh what's x armor is looking like so x armor of light so his super attack the x buster charge beam he gets 50 percent attack and 30 percent defense for one turn as well as doing immense damage why do i feel like this is going to be like crazy like this looks fire for sure fire art all right so his passive upgrades made by dr light so 210 percent attack and defense and 10 percent damage reduction at the start of turn 
guards all attacks unrestricted and he gets an additional 10 percent damage reduction before attacking and of course he is a rainbow orb changer just unrestricted nice and he gets additional 10 percent damage reduction as the first attacker in the turn and he also gets 110 percent attack and defense when performing a super attack nice uh, and he also gets additional 10% damage reduction when receiving an attack. If HP is 50% or more when receiving an attack, plus an additional 10% damage reduction. And if HP is 30% or more when receiving an attack, plus an additional 10% damage reduction before attacking. And plus an additional 110% attack and defense. And an additional 10% damage reduction again with two or more keys obtained. And plus an additional 110% attack and defense. And additional 10% damage reduction again with four or more keysters obtained and he gives super class allies get this he gives super class allies 10 key and 50% attack and defense one more wait, guys let me let me just drink water one more time bro and he gave the explanation of what the uh, category of characters would, would be on, of course, Warriors of Peace. So he says, Warriors of Peace category explanation. Every character that fights for the sake of others, every Goku, Gohan, Trunks. So yeah, I was thinking Trunks. That makes a whole lot of sense. Um, So, Saviors. So, Saviors. No? Am I crazy? Okay, so this character can get a conglomerate of damage reduction. I didn't even get to add up how much damage reduction he gets, but... He can get a lot of damage reduction from his kit. He's a rainbow orb changer on top of that. He's a monstrous support type unit. Uh, I mean, what more is there to say? Um, let's add up how much damage reduction he can get. He also guards, by the way. He guards with a shitload of damage reduction while being a monstrous support. I mean, okay. So, 10% damage reduction here. So, that's 10. Uh, he gets an additional 10% damage reduction before he attacks. So, that's 20. Let's... Just say for the sake of this that you're sitting him in slot one. So he's up to 20% damage reduction right now. And additional 10% damage reduction is the first attack in the turn. So that's 30% damage reduction we're at. And he gets additional 10% damage reduction when he receives an attack. So that's 40, by the way. Uh, just let's keep in mind that he's going to take that one attack and he's going to be sitting at 40%. We're at 40% right now, guys. Okay? So... And if HP is 50% or more when receiving an attack, he gets additional 10% damage reduction. So we're at 50 uh then if hp is plus initial 10 percent damage reduction and if hp is uh, hold, on. hold on i'm confusing myself so 10 percent here 10 percent here uh dude, he has so much damage reduction 10 percent here 10 percent here he has 10 percent here so that's 50 <laughs> okay and yeah it's 50 because you have 10 uh, percent here i'm confusing myself yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah, it's 50. Then 60, right over here. Okay. And he gets 70. And then 80. So he can, he can get up to 80% damage reduction. He gets 10%. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, he can get up to 80% damage reduction. With guard. Bob Rainbow Orb Changing. While being a ridiculous support type unit. Um, does he get an attack and defensive buff from his passive to a super attack? I guess he does. 110% attack and defense from his passive on super. Okay. Um, now, in his, uh, his transform form, he can send slot one. Absolutely. Guard with 80% damage reduction. I mean, what? I mean, you're going to get these four keys for his very easily. Yeah. And you're going to be above, you're definitely going to be above 50% HP when receiving an attack. Yeah. All you have to do is take some hits. Take like one or two hits. It's just one. Yeah. So 10% damage reduction here for receiving an attack. Uh, if HP is 50% or more receiving an attack, yeah, 10% here again. If HP is 30% or more receiving an attack, so does he have to get hit three times for that additional damage reduction to build up? No, I like to assume that he just has to take that one hit. Because it's like, it's receiving an attack here, receiving an attack. Yeah, you just have to get hit one time. Guys, he's sitting in slot one with 80% damage reduction in guard before he attacks. So, a boss supers him. He's taking... He's taking... What's that, a donut? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's about it. And he's also a... He's helping out the team with Rainbow Orb changing and crazy support. So, that's about it. Uh post transformation or post active skill because he gets the armor so post active skill he's ridiculously strong on both ends okay and pre-active skill he's 
He's looking like a slot two unit. Absolutely. Guard with 20% damage reduction. He's looking like a slot two unit. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, Ronan, thank you for sending me your card. I'm going to write down your name on the notepad because I haven't got a chance to do it. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Go ahead and send me custom cards to phfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can review your card in the future. As well as me getting all these older custom cards out of the way. You guys know the gist. You send me multiple cards. I write down your name on a notepad and I get to it in a long uh, <laughs> stream. I said I was going to do a long stream next month. I have to write that down. I have to figure that out because next month I'm well or this month when worldwide down celebration banners do drop I'm doing a stream of course tune in because my summon streams for those who have seen my summon streams they've been going crazy we get stupid luck I'm already I'm not gonna lie I'm not tuning my own horn but I already get lucky off camera but on camera hold okay but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next one i absolutely love you all ronan thank you for sending me your card peace